Whoa. Now the first thing you want to do when you enter the gym, other than karate, is check yourself out in the nearest mirror. Blow your games a little kiss. <laughs> Oh, and then you want to check out the competition. Now you're looking for threats, and you're looking for throats. Bird watcher, baby, for gawcocks. It's like a type of native bird. It's indigenous, I'm pretty sure. To where? Fucking clamors on. Look it up on a map. Anyway, when navigating the gym, here are some potential red flags to keep an eye out for. Now these are people you don't want to work out with, or even near, date or bang. Also, yes, to answer your question, this shirt is available at DonLeads.com. When someone asks to work in with you, now when someone asks how many sets you have, and you offer to let them work in, it's an understood courtesy that you're not supposed to take. Super set! It's like, when I ask if you want a bite of my food, you're not supposed to say yes. I mean, what's next? We're gonna eat out a chick at the same time? Excuse me. Most of the time, it's dudes asking to work in with a chick on a completely unrelated exercise, we're on a piece of equipment that's widely available. Do a buddy curls. You want to work in? Spot me? Now don't touch the bar. Just look at my arms. All right, you want to work in? Yeah. Okay. All right. Will you rack that for me? Dude, to grunt while lifting lightweight. This dude will talk about spitting in your mouth as his opening line on Tinder, but can't get hard if the lights are on. This dude will nut from a hand job and ask if you came. This dude will yell at his chicken and Applebee's, but moan when he eats food. Mm, mm. This dude eats bananas without chewing, and she does hip adductors hovering over the machine. They say this helps target the ass. Yeah, helps me target the ass from across the gym. This is both a red flag and a green light. This is a stop sign that says go. This is a fucking green stop sign. She's training for that bronze medal at the fucking skeet jump. This chick will ride you flat foot, break your dick off in a corn cooter like a Kit Kat, and get pregnant from just anal. Pretty limber, huh? Maxed it out. It was all thick. That was all thick. to do bicep curls like this. This dude sends dick pics to himself. Dudes who drop their pants and take quad photos with the bros. These dudes scissor each other. Yeah, <laughs> cause I'm cut as fuck. <laughs> yeah, you may not skip leg day, but you do skip on the beach when the water touches your toes. And now a word from our sponsor, MPL. MPL is an easy to use app featuring over 10 plus games that you can play to win real cash. One of my favorites is Block Puzzle, where they give you three pieces and you have to put them together before time runs out. You can also do head-to-head -head and multiplayer tournaments. To play, simply deposit your cash to your MPL wallet using Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, or Apple Pay. Choose any game to play and receive cash rewards if you win. All cash won is for keeps and can be easily withdrawn to your PayPal PayPal or to your preferred bank account. Download now from the description link to sign up and get a $5 bonus. Refer your friends and get up to $20 for every referral. Play, compete, and start winning cash. Must be 18 to play. Too sexy for the show. Too sexy. I don't know. Dude to rap their music while lifting. This dude will take you to a Macklemore concert in an Uber that he's driving and make you Venmo him for the tickets and the Uber. The only thing this dude wants more than his dad's approval is to be able to say the N-word. Too sexy for this car. Too sexy for my job. Too sexy for books. When she does leg kickbacks on the Stairmaster. This is a gym thought mating dance to pick up sugar daddies. She's trying to shortcut her way to private jet selfies the same way she's trying to shortcut her way to a booty. This chick will go on dates for the free food, order the most expensive thing, and then bail to go to a promoter table and suckle on a bottle of Class A Azul with 18 other bitches like it's a puppy mill. When he says he doesn't go past 90 on bench press because it's bad for your shoulders. This dude doesn't eat pussy and he makes you shower before sex. <gasps> ah, dude, it's a sumo deadlift. Ugh. This dude will cheat on you with a four, but tell his bros she's a seven. He's already cheating on his lifts, which he cares about way more than you. Pulling sumo is like pulling a six in Ohio. Oh, sorry, pal. That's a fucking four in any state that touches the ocean. Now, that's a bigger stretch than your three-inch range of motion power stance here. Yes! Ah, ah. 
dude, I think I pulled my taint. Your what? My taint, dude, my grundle. Ah, I pulled it. Fuck, oh god. I was gonna get my ass eat tonight, dude. Oh, that sucks. Shit! Ah, doing muscle ups. Yeah. This is a dude that'll stand in the corner of the party until the one song comes on that he learned to dance to from TikTok, and then goes home alone and beats off to Dragon Ball Z. While me, the aristocrat with the cocaine, is dragging balls all over your IG crush's fake lips. I can still muscle up though. Oh. When you make mirror eye contact with the same person three or more times, there's a fine line between miring and murdering, and you, Trent Badgley, are creeping me the fuck out. You think using the mirror to scope some gains or some giants is less creepy than direct eye contact. But really, it's the equivalent of staring at somebody from behind the bush. It's called stalking because you're supposed to do it from behind cover. But your cover is literally a mirror image of your eyes trick shotting a bukkake onto my eyes. When someone says you don't need to hit arms directly because you hit them on chest and back. These are conspiracy theorists who think training buys and tries is a plot by Big Arm to get you to spend more time in the gym. Bro, if my arms grew from just blinking, I would still hit arms every day. You think the only reason I lift is to grow? No, I lift so I don't feel so empty inside. And nothing makes me feel more full than an arm pump. Clear eyes, full arms, can't lose. When a dude asks a chick for a spot, when he's maxing out. This is the dude who will rev the engine of his V6 Mustang when a chick walks by. You should be more worried about maxing out your credit card on that 09 rental Mustang. The only thing this chick cares about less than your max bench is if you live or die. But you know what? She's definitely gonna wanna bang you after this. Is this really the person you want spotting you? Ah, answer, yes. Hey, hey you, hey. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, can you give me a spot? Come on. Come on, getting soft here. All right, yeah, getting hard again. All right, help me on the lift. I'm going for a one rep max, so I'm going for like one to 15, all right? Ah, right. don't, do not touch the ball unless I need help, which I won't. Yeah. None. Oh, I was all me. Having fit or gains or gains by in your IG handle. Having fit in your Instagram handle is like going to community college. Everybody who never left your hometown is doing it, and neither will result in you having a job. People who use the Smith machine as a leg press. I don't care how much this targets your glutes or your quads. If you do this exercise, you look like a dude trained to get pegged. When you see a dude doing this in the gym, it's like when you accidentally scroll past the porn thumbnail of a dude getting his ass eaten. Like, what the fuck? I didn't come here for this shit. Put that shit in a separate tab and a separate gym. If you see a chick doing this exercise, it means she's training for her free trip to Dubai. What's up, you need a spot? No, I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it if you don't mind. He's always at the gym. No matter what time you come, this dude is homeless. Or even worse, a personal trainer. Personal trainers are the biggest drain on society. Personal training is food stamps for fat people. Why are you trying to help people who won't help themselves? Let me tell you something, fitness is about hating yourself until you build a burning drive to overcompensate for everything in your life using the gym. <laughs> this cannot be taught. It has to be learned <laughs> the hard way. Yeah, I used to bench 315 in high school. Yeah, because you were a fucking gym teacher. This is the type of dude to have no kids but be a Boy Scout leader. When a dude helps a chick re-rack her weights when she doesn't want any help. Stop! Do not touch that with these delicate, fragile, pretty little lady hands. Allow me. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so like, I mean, come on, dude. Are you gonna... Yeah, you got that, right? Yeah, I mean, come on. Let me help you, my lady ass bro. This is the type of guy who thinks being nice means you owe him a blowjob, but then will call you a slut if you don't give him one. This dude is gonna prove chivalry is not dead, even if it kills you. You're welcome. <laughs> Try smiling.
Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Videos every week. If you just go back and watch all the old ones once a week. That'll do it. But if you're looking for something new, try DonMerch.com for some new gear. Like the red flag should. The only thing you know how to fish for is compliments. I got the fucking hat for you. The greatest bench player of all time. Six. Lift it. Squad gains. You willing to die for these gains? Cause I am. Twenty sheet cut off. When a six pack is your only personality trait. Bro Dello, no especial. Domers.com.